Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back inside of the Binding of Isaac. And today, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, rather. And today we're going to be continuing. We did Judas on the last run. I did say it was a toss-up between Judas or Eve. But I think we're going to bring the Eve out on this one. We're going to bring the Eve out on this one. Now, Eve is a nice, interesting little gal. She starts with Horror of Babylon and Dead Birds. So we're going to see what our first thing is. Scapegoat. Now, why is why is Eve special? Well, I shall answer that. Eve is special because basically uh, she has Horror of Babylon, but she can activate Horror of Babylon with one heart instead of half a heart. So her damage potential uh, is much higher, and she can, for lack of a better term, pour herself out much faster. Which I think we're just going to go ahead and do on that cursed room. But I kind of wanted to get a bomb first. Okay, stay away from me. I kind of wanted to get a bomb first just in case I get uh, blue flame. So there we go. We've got our bomb. Now let's go ahead and use our cursed room. And we got two pills. What do we have here? Explosive diarrhea. And another explosive diarrhea. So now we have Horror Babylon. What a terrible night to have a curse. And we've got our Horror Babylon. So we got... A little bit more damage. All right, so we're just gonna come over here and tap this. There we go. Got to be careful to not actually take any red hearts. Otherwise, that will remove our horror of Babylon. The moment I have more than one red heart, that is gonna go away. So, when playing as Eve, first priority is to get rid of this one red heart. That is gonna be my priority here. The fool. In case we find another or another curse room, we'll use that. So we'll keep that with us. I don't think Pulse of Diarrhea is going to do too much for us. Monstro, not a bad first boss. Going to keep an eye out for any kind of... Going to keep an eye out for any kind of Tinted Rock. That's going to be our priority here. I actually kind of regret getting Scapegoat because it... Honestly messes me up a little bit. I'm sure it's going to be good in the long run, but I guess as long as I keep an eye on Monstro's shadow, I can see where exactly he's going to be landing. I don't know. Sometimes it ends up messing me up. And by the way, I want to thank everyone for all the support you've been giving this series. I really do uh, enjoy it. So we've got Magic Scab and Luck Up. We're going to go ahead and whore ourselves out real quick. Before we do that, actually... I have a feeling my item room might be right there. I had a feeling that wasn't the right feeling. And that might... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over here, whore ourselves out again, and then pick up that uh, soul heart. But yeah, I want to thank you all for the awesome support you've been giving this series. I've been showing it a lot of love with your comments and your likes, and I really do appreciate that. I'm really enjoying making this these Binding of Isaac videos for you all. I'm glad you all enjoy them, as well as my explanations. I'm working on a sort of a guide to Binding of Isaac for those who want to learn it, you know, going over the all the ins and outs of the mechanics, so that way you all can understand what exactly is happening in each of these runs. All right, so basement two, we're going to want to make sure that we don't get hit and that we don't pick up a red heart. All right, we're going to try not to get hit again. We're going to want to keep ourselves at one heart as much as possible. That's the thing with Eve. She doesn't like heart containers. She really doesn't like heart containers, so... You're going to need to be extra careful here. Extra, extra careful. There's our boss, and there is a Tinted Rock, so we're going to go ahead and bomb that. Soul Heart and a key. Let's go ahead and grab this and see what our boss is. Larry Jr., not too bad of a boss, especially with uh, the Horon. Hopefully he doesn't end up turning into me. He's already at half health and one of the Larrys is almost dead. There we go. Not too bad with Horror Babylon. Not too bad at all. There we go. And there's our Devil Deal. Get around those hearts so we don't pick them up. Uh, not a very good upgrade. Not a very good upgrade. Ghost Baby. It's just going to be a little... A little bit of extra damage, but I want to lock myself into Devil Deals because Angel Rooms don't really synergize well with uh, Eve, unfortunately. 
They really don't. And we got a mystery pill here. Hopefully it's not a full health. It's an I can see forever. Well, we definitely want to take full advantage of that. Get some free, uh... Get some free secret rooms on this floor. Chest? What's in the chest? Tears down. That's not something I want to see. That is definitely not something I want to see. At least I can one-shot the flies. It's a bright, it's a bright side of things, you know? You know? You know. Alright. It's just the small little details, man. You ever have that? It's just like... Might have a bad day sometimes, but... It's just like the... The small little things that get you. Alright, so we got a free item room. No reason to not check it. Uh, got a battery and a bomb. Unfortunately, no soul heart. That I would have definitely loved to see. Ooh, getting hit here again. Still only have one soul heart. But I kind of want to fix that in some way. See what's in our item room. Dead Sea Scrolls. It's a mystery. Life is like Dead Sea Scrolls. You don't know what's going to happen every time you use it. I could use this, and it could proc Yum Heart. Of all the space bar items, you had to proc Yum Heart. All right, so I've lost my Horror Babylon, and I currently have no way of getting it back. Well, all right then. All right then. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty then. That is a little aggravating. Just a little. Tears up. Oh, there we go. At least I'm a little bit happy about that. And a speed down. Well, at least we can take this I can see forever pill with me and we can get free secret rooms on the next floor as well. Hopefully, I get something that's going to uh, get rid of these red hearts. I'm looking for a nice deal with the devil. Me and the devil are going to have a little bit of a chat. And we locked ourselves in, so maybe we'll get it this time. But because we don't have a Book of Belial this time around, they're not guaranteed to happen. They just can happen. I would also like to see an arcade pop up. Potentially, a you know, that, that temperance machine right there. A little blood bank. And maybe we can whore ourselves out with that without risking our devil deal in the process. We're definitely going to need to do something to get rid of these hearts. We're gonna need to do something. These Dead Sea Scrolls are not gonna help. Right? Just keep using these forever. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that works. I should go ahead and pump my I Can See Forever. See if anything happened in any of these rooms. Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's check our battle room. Only a gray chest. Definitely not worth our time in there. And there is our next item room. Let's see what's in there. I mean, why not? This is shaping up to be an amazing run so far. Technology 2, damage down. I'm going to be doing all of the non-existent damage. But hey, I've got range. I may not be able to do anything to the enemies. Because I don't have Horror Babylon, but hey, I got some shiny lasers. All right, looks like we uh, slowed him down. Got the hourglass to proc, so that's kind of nice. And we have both of our uh, secret rooms right next to this room, actually. So this will be kind of interesting. So we'll check out our super secret first after we open up this chest. An explosive diarrhea. More pills. Uh, that's a tears down. That's a luck down. We're finding all the negatives. The only thing we haven't found yet... All these explosive diarrhea. The only thing we haven't found yet is a health down. Hopefully we don't find one of those. That would just be awful. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of this. I don't think that this is going to lead to a very fast run. I don't think picking up Technology 2 was a very good idea. But for the sake of I haven't picked up this item before, I feel like I needed to. Alright, so I may have to waste a bomb here. Looks like I'm going to have to waste a bomb here. For the sake of actually killing these things in a decent amount of time. I do this for you. I do this for you. I could juke my tears over there, but I'm not going to. Alright. Hive mine. That's going to increase our 
uh, fly size. So that's not too bad if we find Guppy or find a mulligan or a rotten baby or owl or something that's going to basically spawn some kind of flies or spiders. And that's a trap door that I really don't want to go down. So we managed to proc the shovel. Hopefully I don't accidentally go down that. That would be bad. I feel like Dead Sea Scrolls is going to be the end of me. I don't know why, but I just feel like it is. I feel like it's going to be the end of this run. The end of the streak. Will this be the end? Who honestly knows? It could be. Isaac is a very interesting thing. Which, by the way, 98HJPNSL. Almost forgot that. I would have had everyone yelling at me if I forgot to show the seed. That would have been terrible. I got so caught up in actually explaining what Eve is... I didn't actually explain the, the seed. I do apologize for that. But they are always in the description, so worry not. All right, so if I don't get a soul heart, I can at the very least. Okay, we got the nail to proc. So we got a soul heart. We got a soul heart here. Not too mad about that. We can't potentially get things like that to spawn. Meat, nice damage upgrade. Okay, we can work with this. We can work with this. So we've got the paw and the nail. The nail is definitely a keeper here. Nail is definitely a keeper. So that's going to make it so that I can... Um, nail's going to make it so I can have a soul heart. We're going to grab the paw for one piece guppy. And now we're always going to be hoard out. So, I think we're going to keep that going. Now, unfortunately, I can't check my I can't check my cursed room cuz I simply don't have the health for it, but we are one piece guppy and we have a nail again, so we can regenerate a little bit of our health. It'll take some time to regenerate, but we can do it. I'm glad I bought that hive mind though. I'm feeling guppy this run. I don't know what it is. I feel it in the back of my mind. I feel like Guppy's just going to happen. Or maybe it's not. Mm. Woo! These guys are jumping all over the place. Mm. Okay! Let's just... Calm it down just a little bit. Calm it down just a little bit. Back at the, back at the one and a half hearts. Maybe gambling away all of my hearts wasn't a, a good decision there. Maybe it wasn't. At least we got our item room. And it is going to be the virus. That is not going to do anything for us. That's just going to make it so that way anything we touch gets poisoned, but I really don't want to be taking any more damage this floor. Really don't, especially with not a, a heart and a half. Oh, thank you, a tinted rock. All right. We can work with that. A soul heart. Oh, two soul hearts. Nice. And a liberty cap. All right. We got we got things working here. We got things working here. Let's go ahead and check our item room. All right, so there is a soul heart in here. So we are going to look for three more cents to buy that up. Speaking of which, there's one right here. Hopefully I can... We go pick up that penny right there you'd find two more Ooh. this room always throws me off for some reason all right so maybe 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 the punching bag wasn't such a such a bad idea we got a boss room in here is it gonna be worth it a golden chest but we have no keys so that answer is no that answer is no another cursed room that I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually go visit Unfortunately. All right, just take our time with these guys. Dodge appropriately, and we will be fine. We will be just fine. I want to clear out as many rooms as I can. So that way, just in case, I can at least have more uh, nail procs. And let's go ahead and buy... Go ahead and buy that soul heart. Because I don't think we're going to do any more backtracking in here. 
Being a witch. All right. I had to see if there's going to be anything in there. Just got another explosive diarrhea. So let's go ahead and grab that soul heart, bringing me to three. As soon as we clear the room, that'll bring me to four. Now, the thing about devil deals is that if I don't get a health container from this devil deal, uh, it will cost soul hearts instead, and I don't want that to happen. Reason being is because that's going to uh, soul heart deals always cost three instead of just one heart container. So you can see how that might be a little bit of an issue. But the reason for that is because Guppy will uh, exchange it for you know one to three ratio. So it makes sense. And at the same time, it is kind of balanced because it will make uh, anything that would be a two red hearts will instead now be three soul hearts. Go ahead and finish this off by seeing what's down here. I don't think we're going to do any backtracking. Nope, just a room to refill my nail. That's going to be all this is. Overall, not a bad floor. Would like to see some more damage ups happening. We have locked ourselves into the devil deal, so maybe we can get some more other items going. Maybe we can get some more other items going. I'm not sure what I want, though. The pact would be nice. So that's what I'm going to keep my eye out for. I'm going to keep my eye out for the pact. My damage right now is not very satisfactory. Not very satisfactory at all. Considering it's a wretched does not actually have a lot of health. So going him, taking him down at this rate is going to make the mom fight a little bit interesting. Maybe I can get an orbital. But the revs would definitely be a nice pickup. No devil deal, and I got a wooden spoon. So that really doesn't do me any good at all, actually. That's a little depressing. All right, guess we're going to just be heading on to our next room. Unless... Actually... I want to save my explosive diarrhea for skulls. I want to save my explosive diarrhea for potentially finding uh, a bunch of skulls. Blow them up. Maybe get some dark hearts. As well as... Uh, get, get some dark hearts and maybe some tarot cards as well. Either of those would be really nice. Uh, see if there's any tinted rocks in here. Doesn't Actually, no. I see you. Before someone yells at me. There we go. Got the key. Got the soul heart. Looking like we got plenty of health. You know, if there's anything that I want, I want to pen. I want to spend a full key, not a partial key, not half a key, a full key, on a full penny. That would just—that's exactly what I want. Now, unfortunately, I can't see where they're at. I have infinite range, but I can't see where they're at. I'm—I'm ac I'm actually debating whether or not I want to take a few of those range downs that popped up. I think I might start taking a few of those because I think I'm moving just a little bit too fast. There is such a thing as too fast in this game. That That is something that you can do. All right, go after that punching bag while I finish this guy off. And there we go. Uh, we'll see where I want to end up using. Actually, hmm. Nah, I'm just going to go ahead and use it in here. I was thinking of using the nail in the other room, which is what I should have done. But it's fine. I didn't want to waste an additional charge. I'm going to need all the charges I can get. And, you know, since I've already paid into it by accident, let's go ahead and get this golden boot. Which is possible, which might possibly give me enough money uh, to buy another soul heart, which is what I'm going to hopefully get from the shop. Easy room here. Just need to take my time. Or, oh, that could have been bad. I'm actually kind of wondering how that didn't hit me. That should have definitely hit me. Oh, well. I won't complain. If it says it didn't hit me, I guess it didn't hit me. Alright, you're taken out and you're taken out. Got a key, and we'll use that right here. Mr. Boom, well, we'll use it to blow up some skulls, but I really don't want you. Really, really don't want you. Grab this penny here. I do want you. There we go. I like that little trick, just, just slide on through. That's all you gotta do, just slide on in. Just take a ride on the slide. There's the hollow. Yeah, I think we might end up using our explosive diarrhea in there. All right, so we got an item shop. Let's see what's in here. Greed, you're not a shop. You're not a shop at all. 
I don't have anything that I want for sale. All right, but you do got me. You do, you do, you do got me. You do got me. You do got me. I'll probably stop making videos. Just, just, just quit entirely. I'm curious how many people actually watch these in their full entirety. So just add "you do got me" to the end of it. All right, so we're definitely going to use our explosive diary in here. And let's see what we got. So we got a dark heart, a wheel of fortune, a death card, and a high priestess. Let's go find our boss, and we'll use the high priestess on that. We'll go use our high priestess on that. I think I'm going to save the nail. I'm going to waste potentially a charge or two. We'll see. Ooh, a dime. Thank you. I'll use that in the next floor. Yeah, it looks like I'll waste a, a charge, just a single charge, in order for me to go and put the potential here. Hmm. Nope. I can't do it. The potential is too high. The potential is too high. I gotta break all these. Although, I'll do it after the doors are open. There we go. Alright, well, the potential was there. It didn't do anything. Now I'm not going to have a nail for the boss. But hey, I could have gotten something from that. I could have gotten some more dark hearts or maybe some other things. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and use the High Priestess on our boss here, Monstro. We'll wait till he lands before we do anything because he likes to almost immediately jump. There we go. Stomp on him. Take a good portion of his health out. Monstro's not going to be too bad, especially with a nice clean room. Especially with a nice clean room. Yeah, just keep going after that punching bag. No, not me. Oop. Went after the punching bag this time. Going after the punching bag again. Gotta keep an eye on that shadow so I can see where exactly, where the hell he's gonna be going. There you go. You haven't shot Brimstone once this round gonna ask did you did you forget how to do the brimstone all right monster should be dead now speaking of brimstone I have I haven't seen one of those how about we have a brimstone just pop up I thought that was gonna be it right there I thought that was gonna be it but no we got rotten baby and I'm gonna go ahead and take the power of flight as well the power of flight can be pretty awesome and we'll go ahead and take the old bandage now the reason that I didn't uh, take the old bandage first before going into that devil deals because I would only be able to get one. So I don't think that's worth it. Oh, hey. Well, all right then. Whoa. Little too fast for my own good. So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and take some speed downs if I happen to find them. Hopefully this will end up paying out with some soul hearts. The left hand. What is that? The Joker. Well, I'll use that on the next floor. We'll see what we have on the next floor here. Uh, companionship. Go ahead and use that. What companionship does is it spawns some attack spiders and flies, which is really nice with my uh, other cards here. Uh, let's go ahead and use this death card, whatever's in here. There we go. Whatever happened to be in there, we're just going to hit it with the death. It can just die. Um, this other card is the hermit. We're not going to get any use out of that. We're just going to... We're going to keep our Joker card here. Looks like that might be the, all that we get out of here. So, go ahead and blow that up. Get a little bit of money back. I'm thinking of taking the left hand. I'm, I'm going to take the left hand with me. Just in case I get any more red chests and potentially get some guppy. I would love to get some guppy going. And I can go ahead and refill that red heart too. It's not that big a deal because, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, because Eve is a little special gal, and she doesn't need half a red heart. All right, so let's go ahead and immediately pop our Joker card. Speaking of which, that is two-piece Guppy, I believe. I believe that's two-piece Guppy? Am I going insane here, and I forgot a piece of Guppy that I touched? I think I'm just going insane. For some reason, I think I'm two-piece guppy. I don't know why. I'm only one-piece guppy. 
What am I thinking? Everything's just kind of blending together, man. I'm not always guppy. Just gotta tell myself that. You're not guppy. Alright. Let's deal with all these guys. Doesn't look... Yeah, we're not gonna be making the boss rush again. But we can thank technology too for that. At least it makes those guys a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and use the nail in here. Uh, being careful not to break these skulls until after all the enemies are dead. Guppy could still happen though. You just have to believe in the power. The power of Guppy. I'm only getting these enemies though. I'm not getting anything else. I'm not getting anything else in here. But at least the run at least the run to mom is not gonna be that bad now. I've been getting some respectable damage ups as well as the horror Babylon being pretty awesome and based. Uh, oh, right there in the corners. First time I got this room, they could, uh, I didn't really see that one in the top right because it's covered by the mini-map the first time I was in here. It's just like, damn. Where the, where's this enemy at? Alright. We still might, even though we've spent all of our money on the last floor, we might be able to spend a little bit more in here. Uh, let's see what's in this room. Uh, for the sake of not wasting a charge, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and head up to the top. Magician. That actually is pretty awesome. Now, that is going to go to Mom. And once, I ha once I've done that, I can't exit the room. So, I'm going to want to finish out this run, or this floor here, before I end up taking that. However, you can leave Mom's room if you get something like a Hermit card, a star... Basically anything that would teleport you. Go ahead and blow those up. Two soul hearts. Nice. And let's see what's in our item room. Mask of Infamy. Not terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. Tarot card. Now we're going to keep our Magician card on us. And let's see what's in our item shop. We have just enough money. But I think we're going to donate it all instead. That is Mom's coin purse and it has a bunch of pills in it. But there's no guarantee those are actually going to be good pills. It's a very nice, it's a very nice item to have or pick up rather. When you actually have a PhD, which makes all your pills positive rather than negative. Uh, I don't think there's actually going to be anything else. We're, we're going to go ahead and continue on. I could go get some more nail procs, but I don't think it's going to be really necessary here. Uh, we got a little bit of extra cash. Let's just let's go ahead and head on back and donate that out. Because there's always more options. There's always options in life. There's always more of them. What those options are, I don't know, but there's always more of them. Whenever you think you're out of options, you got them. All right, so, Mother. How are you doing, Mother? Been doing well? Hmm. I kind of want to get her to stomp this. There we go. Want her to stomp that item. I could use my magician, but I think I'm gonna hang on to it for right now. I think I'm gonna hang on to it right now. I'm glad I picked up that hive mind, because Rotten Baby and Hive Mind are doing some work right now. Hive baby doing good. Now if I could have just gotten best friends forever, we would be Pretty much set. The baby would do all the damage for me. Come on. Take your hand out. Yeah, just stay right there. Bait that hand. No, you don't. Where are you going, little buddy? He has a mind of his own. He's just a scared little child. Doesn't even know what to do. And now I'm getting hit by the foot. Got hit far too many times in there. Especially by the foot. Uh, I see that soul heart in the top right, and I think that's pretty much gonna be it. So let's go ahead and head down down. Alright. Not exactly the fastest of runs, but it is a safe run so far. It is a safe run. As long as I've got that one. That was infamy procking. I should have taken some damage there. But thankfully, Infamy was just looking out for me. And by looking out for me, I mean take took pity on me. Yeah. 
pretty much relying on this one attack fly. Come on. Go little attack fly. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Still, it doesn't look like we're going to be netting in another streak here, but you can't call it a win until it actually happens in Isaac, because something crazy could happen. Something crazy could always happen. All right, so we're just going to play this a little safe here. This is why I like the power of flight, because if I have something that's going to be able to damage enemies from far away, or if they surround me, then I'm pretty much set here. Pretty much set here. That attack fly is going to be doing some work for me. Uh, looks like I could to to use my nail on the boss, and it is Mr. Fred. Fred's not really that bad of a boss, especially when you have flying and you can dodge his main attack. He just... Oh, the punching bag was sitting inside of him. Okay. I was wondering why he didn't really do anything. Alright, so let's get closer so that we can get those attack fly. Get those attack flies in. Move out of the way. And get those attack flies going into him. He just needs to stop being a little bit scared. Just needs to stop being scared. So every time he comes out, he's always going to do that ring. As far as the big ones, he's always going to make a sound effect before that actually happens. So really not that, not really not too terrible of a boss. And he'll occasionally spawn the little guys, but they're fine. They're just having fun. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the breakfast before going into my devil deal. Which is fine, because it costs just one heart. So now I've got a full rack of hearts, and that's a slight damage up. And because this is the womb, there are no item shops. Or, uh, sorry, item rooms slash shops. So we're just going to go ahead and go to our final one. I don't know if I would take this to Sheol. That I don't... Ooh, punching bag. Infamy, though. It's fine. Infamy said, hey, don't worry, it's just... It's just, you just made a slight mistake, man. I didn't see it. It's a very rigged, rigged thing we got going on here. I can see forever. Definitely take that. Book of Revs. That's tempting if if we were on an earlier floor, but for right now, that's not going to do us any good. So the reason we're keeping this Magician card is because if we throw this in the mom fight, I can focus solely on dodging, and I won't have to worry too much about anything else. Although... I don't think I'm going to take a full rack of hearts of damage. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bomb these and donate the money. All the donations this round. All of the donations. Racking up that number. Well, I was going to donate, and then it said no. Let's just find our boss. Now we're just going to sit here in safety. Let, let the rotten baby do all of the work. One fly at a time. Oh, I was wondering what you were doing. There we go. It's either going to be up or down. Uh, since I've got... I've got the nail proc ready, so... I think we're going to go ahead and see what's in here. Use that troll bomb to open these up. I wish there was some way to get out of here without taking damage. Unfortunately not. Ooh, pride. Should have waited. Get a little bit of extra damage in, but it's not really necessary. Uh, Pride's going to give me a strength card. Uh, strength is basically a little bit of a damage up for that room, as well as a heart container. Interesting fact, though, about the heart container is that you can use it. Uh, you can use the heart container from the strength card to gamble away in devil deals for free, as well as use them with Guppy's Paws to get a free three soul heart, so... Interesting little tidbit about those. It's a lot of little synergies that you don't really think of until, like, like it, it just kind of clicks with you. Like, oh, wait. I could do this and get all of my health back. All right. If there's any enemy I don't like. Well, these enemies are fine. You just gotta... Th these enemies, I think, are basically the killer of the new, of the new player. You just got to be calm and collected with them. If you just go in rushing around, you're going to have a bad time. I could take the tick, lower mom's health, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, especially if I go and fight Shoal, I'm going to want my nail with me. 
keep that heart keep that heart regeneration going. Although I think I'm doing just fine on hearts, but you can never be too careful. I always play it as safe as I can. See? Lost a heart there. That's what I get. That's what I get for not being completely safe. I have way too much speed. And these rooms right here is another killer of, an, of the new player. I still get hit by these. I still get hit by those. Alright, Fistula. I don't like you. But I think we can come to terms with a, with a black heart proc. Like I said, the last time, I'm just I'm not good at dodging that guy. Alright, so we got a secret room here. And it's going to be more troll bombs. It's either, it was either going to be to the right or to the left. It was a gamble. At least we got, at least we know now. Should be run, one room away. We're not going to be able to come, become guppy at this point, but hey, we got some more attack flies. So that's always good. And an easy room to boot. Alright, so we're gonna, we are going to have a nail proc and pretty much full hearts going into the mom fight, so we should have this. Should have this. And I get to show off what exactly a magician does, so let's go ahead and hit the nail and hit the magician. So, as you can see, Magician with the laser is pretty awesome, as I don't even have to be on the same line of sight anymore to be hitting her. I can just focus entirely on dodging, and it will auto-correct and do all the things for me. So, that is pretty nice. Unfortunately, let's see if I can get that, there we go, get that attack fly going, so that way the rotten baby will start doing some work as well. Isaac. And yeah, take that damage. Take that damage. And we got a devil deal. So that's not the end of this run just yet. The low damage run is not over yet. It still goes on. It still goes on. Let's go to Sheol. I'm, I don't have a lot of damage, but I do have quite a bit of help. So I'm feeling pretty safe about this. And we can get our second Sheol kill out of the way. Looks like we've unlocked a couple of challenges here. Solar System's not a great challenge. Not looking forward to redoing that one. Still gonna hit all of these things. Maybe I can become Guppy. Maybe I can become Guppy just in time. Just in time for Sheol. Ooh. Ooh. That was a little bit of an interesting room right there. Just gotta keep moving. Just gotta keep moving with them. So once you get to these rooms, you can start getting, uh, once you get to Shoal, or you get to the Cathedral, you're gonna just start getting bosses, just straight up regular bosses. Well, I guess you kind of also get them in Womb, but they're a lot more common in these areas. You're just gonna get straight up bosses in, in terms of floors. And once you get to the chest or the dark room, pretty much every single room is just a boss in the dark room and the chest, so. You want to only go in there until you've got some damage. Although, I guess the game kind of decides whether or not that's going to happen. Well, we can turn our hearts into dark hearts. Why not? That's not going to have no qualms against that. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be using the... Uh... Ooh, ghost. It's going to take a little bit of time here. Looks like we're going to be using the nail for our main damage again. And we're just going to have to, or rather the Rotten Baby for our main damage. We're just going to have to to wait out the fight. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to be as fast as our last Satan kill. Our last Satan kill was really easy. Ludo and everything going into it. It was just fine. I really should have taken damage there, but thankfully I didn't. need as much health as I can get going into this fight. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Why are you going so fast? All right, grab a key. I don't think that's even going to do anything. Got the chest. Soul heart. All right, so now we can keep our nail. Not feel bad about it. Card, the stars. So the stars is going to teleport you to your item room. However, if you're on a floor like this, where there is no item room, it'll just teleport. It'll just work as a telly pills and just send you somewhere completely random. Which I really don't want to do. I don't want to waste any more time. Not that time really means anything, but 
you know, gotta be slightly efficient here. All right, so now we've unlocked the cellar, and that's gonna make our first floor potentially harder. And that means we can fight my favorite boss haunt. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into Satan. What you got for me, Satan? Let's go ahead and hit that nail. So we can get our damage up. The one heart I was going to get from that is not too important. Oh, yeah. Rotten Baby is definitely going to be MVP of this fight. Definitely going to be MVP of this fight. So Fallen has a pretty predictable attack pattern. He's not going to do Brimstone until after he's charged. Oop, infamy. Let's see if I can't sneak by Satan here. Sneak by him again. And again. There you go. Just do that attack. Just keep doing that attack. You're going to be fine. There we go. And now let's kill the feet. It's interesting seeing the actual fight of this, rather than just abusing the hell out of Ludo and Brim. You know, we can actually probably take some damage here, so I'm actually going to tank a few hits here, just so we can uh, get that Dark Heart damage going into him. There we go. Perfect. Get that Dark Heart damage going into it. Eternal Heart. Alright, so that's going to pretty much wrap up this run, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for the support you've been giving the Isaac series. You all are amazing. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one. So if you enjoy this series, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know that you're enjoying it and uh, enjoying the content. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I'll catch you all in the next one, everybody. Later.